guys, welcome back to another Pond Wee video. Today I will be showing you some of my gear and my top three favorite fishing lures and how I like to fish them. To start off here, I will show you my bluegill rod. Now this is a combo. It is an ultralight six foot six ultralight um, for bluegill. Got six pound monofilament on there. I like this reel. It's very fun to catch fish on. Um, Fishing is especially fun in my opinion when you have some light light rod so you can really fight the fish. Um, it's just a cool thing I like to do sometimes. And um, especially it also makes bluegill fishing more fun because you can feel that fight a little bit more. Other than if you had a uh, heavier rod. Alright now here going into my bigger fish. Kind of like my bass, pike, and dogfish rod. So this is a Pro Max reel, RB Garcia, and a Berkley Lightning Stick, seven foot, um, medium heavy, got 15 pound line on there. Usually I don't use swivels, but I am right now just so I can clip on, you know, my heavier baits faster. Um, yeah, this is my heavier combo here. And going into my new combo, going into this year, this is a St. Croix Icon. Six foot six, medium light, <clears throat> on an oh, a quantum uh, little spinning reel. So hopefully this is putting on the work this year. So that is it for my rods. And now to start off this spring, I wanna, um, this isn't in my top five lure, I mean top three favorite lures, but um, this is what I'm going to try to use a lot this year. This is called a Zakoshi bug and this is a Ned rigging hook and so this together is going to be a Ned rig hopefully this is what will slay the the spawning bass this year um, I'm going to probably put this on my open face reel or a uh, rod combo and um, I have a f I've had this feeling that it's just gonna slay this year Not my best rigging job, but hopefully that little bit, that little Zakoshi bug on that Ned rig will slay him, pop this sucker off the bottom. Man, hopefully a huge bass comes and slams that lure. Going into to my top five, I mean top three favorite lures. So to start off, I will go with my favorite lure, which is called the chatterbait and um either the chatterbait or the spinnerbait i like but i prefer the chatterbait usually a little smaller profile this one right here is a z-man and it is a black and blue and i have a little paddle tail swim bait on there and what i like fish with these that it is so simple all you need to do is cast it out. You could let it sit a little bit, sink it down the bottom, but I like just straight retrieving it right when it hits the water. And um, pike and dogfish and bass, man, I've had so much success with these lures. And um, I like that you can feel the vibrations of this uh, little blade when you're reeling it in. So um, you can tell if your bait's running correctly. So that is my number one favorite lure. And... Um, to go into my number two favorite lure, this will be a weightless or bullet weighted worm or a, um, a paddle tail sometimes even. So here we go. This is our worm. I like to Texas rig them. And usually I'll just do a straight up stick bait. But for this time, I had a little curly tail, give it a little more twirl on the end there and if you want to know how to do this Texas rig um, there's a lot of tutorials out there so you guys can just search up Texas rig or how to Texas rig that'll be pretty easy to figure out and I uh, I use um, a granny knot on all my um, rods and I'll show I'll show you how to tie that knot later on in this video and going on to my third favorite fishing lure. So this time it will be a topwater. Now, I don't kill that many topwaters, but when I do, it's usually a pretty good day out on the water. 
So to start off, my top three favorite lure is the Whopper Plopper. The pipe, the price is pretty high, but these suckers are good. And this one right here is a perch color, but the bottom is the only one that, the only um, color that really matters because that's all the fish can see. So usually a white or black is pretty good for that. And this isn't really that good in um, really weedy areas because of the treble hooks. So when I'm fishing in treble hooked area, on top water this is a really good lure this is a frog um specifically i like using popping frog frogs they i in my opinion they walk a little bit better but any popping frog really that's high quality um i like a lot so those are my top three favorite fishing lures um hope you guys enjoyed that part all right guys now i'm going to show you how i tie on my lures so Right now, I have my open face line right here. This is the Ned rig that I showed you guys earlier. And to start off, obviously, I put the line through the eyelet, just like you should with every knot, probably. And um, from here, you can grab as much line as you want. That much is probably good. And then I really twist it um, probably about five times. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure the granny knot is eight times, but I don't really think it matters how many times you twist like that. But now that you see here, like that. Now, now when you're at that step, see that hole right there, the first one? I um, stick it through there, and then see this gap that I'm creating where I put it through there? So after I put it through there, I'll have this gap, and then you put it back through that gap that you um, started with like that. Pop it through like that, and then you pull her like this. And now you could, you um, wet it a little bit, so go like that, and then cinch it down. And then there you got a really reliable knot, in my opinion, if you tie it right, and then you trim off your access. But that is how I tie on my fishing knots. That's usually all I need to use for all of my stuff. So hopefully that Ned rig will slay him this year, and I hope that all of you guys are excited for the spring fishing. Um, bass are betting the, are going to be betting in early May and throughout May, usually. So I'm excited to do that. This will be a wrap on today's video. Um, thank you for watching, and please do me a favor and subscribe to Topwater Tom on YouTube. Um, I hope me and him do some good fishing this year at the state park and some other spots. And um, hope to see you guys next time. See ya.